Hello everybody. Welcome to Austin Body Collective beginner friendly ballet class. Um, again, like I said earlier, make sure that you have a little bit of water, a bar, a counter, back of a chair. You can even use a wall um, if you need to. This will also work. It's something to give you some tactile cue on where you are and a little bit of balance, what your partner is going to be today. Um, we're going to start with a nice little warm up um, and we're going to start facing forward and then we're going to do a little bit of review of what we went over last week. I will be adjusting this bar so that you have the best view of me throughout the class and I will also try to be mirroring things in my mind so my right is your left and my left is your right so that you don't have to switch anything and um, if you need to you can stay facing your device so that you always have some kind of image to follow. Okay, so the music I'm using is by Josh Piper. It's his Josh Piper Ballet Playlist on um, Spotify. He's wonderful. I actually found this artist from Austin Community Ballet, which I also take class from. So we're gonna start in a nice parallel with our feet together. Okay, and we're gonna do a tendu forward. So a tendu means to stretch. And we're going to stretch forward to let the balls of our feet, and then we're going to extend our toes. And we're going to turn out from the hip, and then we're going to pull back. And on the other leg, we're going to extend forward onto the balls of our feet. We're going to point our toes. We're going to turn out from the hips, and then back. Good. We're going to take a demi plie here. Plie means to bend. And another demi plie here. That means to bend. If you have questions on footwear, um, you can find ballet slippers online. Socks also work too. I'm barefoot right now. I'll put my ballet shoes on after our little pre-bar. Um, from here, we just did two plies. Anything that's going to let your foot move along the floor, you don't want to be gripping the ground, but you want to still be able to feel the ground. We're going to take our right arm up. We're going to reach over. Sorry, your left arm up, over. Curl the upper body to roll up. Head is the last thing. And right side, up and over, curl, roll up. We're leaving the pelvis in neutral, two plies. And rise up on your toes and heels down. And you're just going to, if you need to, step away. You're going to just take a nice stretch forward, letting your chest reach through the arms, letting your body fold at the hips. You can drop the elbows if you need to. Feeling that stretch in the back of the hamstrings. You can bend a little bit and extend. Feet should be about hip distance apart. And you're gonna plie and roll up, come back, feet together. And starting with the right foot, we extend to the balls and extend our toes, turn out from the hip, pull back. Extend, extend through the toes, turn out from the hip, Pull back. So this is your turn out. Two plies. Reach the right arm up and over. Curl just your upper body, your thoracic spine forward. Roll up. Left arm up and over. Nice lateral stretch. Curl forward and roll up. Up on the toes. Parallel the feet. Step back if you need to. Flat back down, extending and opening. Bend the knees if you need to, and extend. Feel that hamstring stretch. Feel your whole feet on the floor. And plie, roll up. So when you're in a first position parallel, any position with the feet, you really want to think about these three points. You have your heel, you have the ball of your big toe, and you have the ball of your pinky toe. And I like to think of my toes as little itty bitty roots, like a tree extending out. And you have three arches. You have this main arch that most of you are probably very aware of. If you have flat feet, this is something you're gonna work on. If you have high arch, congratulations. You have this arch. Um, I forget the names of all of these, I apologize. Um, the arch along the balls of your toes, okay? From the big toe to the pinky toe. And then you also have this arch from the inseam of this mid arch to the lateral side of your foot. And so I like to think of my foot as a tripod. So I have my heel, the ball of my big toe, the ball of my pinky toe, and I'm pulling up, 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 and I'm extending those toes out. And that's how I stand on my feet. Okay? So, so 
really think about that feet and your feet grounded down. Last week we talked a little bit about the pelvis and what neutral means. So a neutral pelvis, what you're going to have is if you stand up straight and you tilt your pelvis forward so you have a little bit of like a duck, this is what I call a duck position, and then you can tuck your pelvis like your Elvis Presley, and right in that middle is going to be where a neutral pelvis is. And a neutral pelvis is very important for your alignment. Also thinking about your hips, if I had two little flashlights on my hips here, would they be even like tail lights? Or am I shifting from side to side? A lot of times when someone comes up into a passe, see how that hip just raised up? Really the idea is to get the hip to stay even. Don't sacrifice your hip for the height of the leg, not when you're first learning. So you wanna make sure that in everything that we're doing, passe, tendu, we're keeping those headlights even and we're not ducktailing and we're not becoming a rock star. So, let me put on my shoes and we're gonna start, um, we're gonna review the basic positions, the basic feet, foot positions as we're going through a nice plie. Again, plie means to bend. We have a demi plie, so we can think of demigods. Um, half, demi plie, half, and a grand plie, which comes all the way to the ground. Very important thing to know on grand plie is your heels are the last thing to come off and the first thing to be put back down. We're trying to really stretch through our Achilles, and as you're going through, you want to make sure that your knee and your ankle are going over your second toe, okay? You want to make sure that as you come down and up, you're not bringing your knees in and around. That creates misalignment, which when you're jumping and you come down, this is a sprained ankle waiting to happen. So, as you're doing these pliés, really think about this knee. Is it going over my second toe? As I'm rising to releve, are, is my ankle going towards the second toe, or is it also having some kind of pronation or supination um, pattern? So, we're gonna start, traditionally you start on your left side. So I'm gonna start on my right. Everything you start on your left side in ballet. At least at the bar, left hand on the bar. So here we go. Let's bring this. We're gonna start in a first position. So again, tendu to turn out, tendu to turn out. First position, we're gonna have our hands on ba, and we prepare to go out, and then we're going to plie, arm comes out to a little bit to a demi second, plie all the way to second, and then we'll take a grand, bring the arm through port de bras, opening to the next position. We'll go in a second. You notice I adjust my second so that I can stay connected with the bar, and then I adjust it accordingly to come to fourth. We're gonna go to a close fourth, so heel is gonna be in line with the back toe. You're about a foot's distance apart, and you wanna make sure that your weight isn't forward or back, it's centered between them. And again, really thinking about those knees over those toes. And then we're gonna be doing fifth, okay? So again, we'll do it in first. Two demis, one grand. Second, two demis, one grand. Close fourth, two demis, one grand. Fifth, two demis, one grand, okay? We're also gonna be doing a little combre port de bras between each set, and you can just follow me along with that. So, I'm going to start the music over. We're going to prepare. And demi, stretch. Demi, stretch. Bronze, plie, heels down. Stretch, comrade right forward, bending at the hips. Down, rolling up, tall. Open seconds, here we are, prepare. And demi, stretch, demi, stretch. Grand plie, grand plie, Here, stretch towards the ball of the wall. Reach out, up, over, clip down. Here, here, adjust the feet, come to an open four. Prepare. And demi. Stretch. Demi. Stretch. Grand plie. 
Really thinking about those toes, knees over the toes. Opposite arm, reach out, up and over. Look down, we're arching in the rib cage, the thoracic part of the spine. To fifth, prepare. Demi, stretch. Demi, stretch. Grand plie. Palm break to the back, lifting up over, keeping the pelvis centered, just arching in your upper back. To come here, tongue you out, plie. We're gonna do a detrine. Um, so you're gonna tongue you out, susu up, to turn to face the other side, extend out, prepare. If you need to adjust so that you can see the front, um, you can. I'm gonna do this on a little bit of diagonal so you can better see. So let's start this over. We have our right hand at the bar. Um, so we go, Demi. Oh, sorry, hold on, I need to start that over. Yeah, I'm not gonna be near to you, but it'll be fine. So we prepare, and Demi, stretch. Demi, stretch, front plie, one, two, heels down, three, four, palm break forward, bending at the hips, rolling up, palm you out, to second, make the adjustments, prepare, here we go, Demi, stretch, Demi, stretch, grand plie, Knees over toes, back like an elevator. Reach out, up and over here. To the front, come forth, prepare, and set. Five, six, seven, eight, and demi. Stretch, demi, stretch, grand plie. Knees over toes. Heels, last things and first things to connect and disengage from the ground. Reach out, up and over. Staying center, upper body. Tendu, two, fifth, prepare. A little too close to the bar. And demi, stretch. Demi, stretch, turning out from the hips. Grand plie, turn, turn, turn out. Turn out from the hips, heels first thing down. Palm right to the back, keeping the hips in place, arching through, and we plie tendu, turn around, first position, bring arms to on ba, look away from the bar, chin tilted, head slightly on the diagonal, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to do tendus. So, a tendu, it's French, every name of this is French, means to stretch. We did a little bit of tendus in our pre-bar, and so when you do these tendus, I really want you to think about your foot staying connected to the ground as long as possible. You extend through that arch, ball feet your toes on the ground, and then you extend through the toes. We're not crunching the toes, we're extending the toes. How you get to point is not by crunching your toes. You have to lengthen your toes until you grow the stability and the strength to be on said toes and a shoe box and a point shoe helps. So, on these tendus again, really think about that extension, that lengthening in the arch, and then through the toes. And when you come back down, that lengthening in the arch, and then connecting that heel with the ground as soon as possible, just like we were doing in our grand plies. Okay? So we're going to do, we're gonna do tendus from first, yeah, we're going to do tendus from first, and every time you come back to first, I want you to think about weight on both feet, center alignment. Don't stay over the, um, the working leg, the standing leg. Come back to center. So we're going to do a tendu to the front. We're going to do our ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel. Two tendus, plie, ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel, two, tendus, plie, 
leg, derriere, ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel. Two, tendus, plie, a la So this is en croix. En croix is front side, back side. Or back side, front side, en cross, en croix. So, and then we're going to go to the side, ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel. Two, tendus, plie, okay. Do, 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 do. Two tendus, on, actually on this one, so we go two tendus, hold on the last one, hold out, plie, we're going to go into a little fondue, soutenu, detrene, tendu out to the first to do the opposite side. Okay, again, two broken down tendus, two tendus, nice gooey demi plie, a la seco. Two broken tendus, two tendus, Gooey plie, derriere, a la seconde, last tendu, fondue, soutenu, déchaîné, tendu, first, second side. Okay? Yay! Slow tendu. Prepare, arm staying in second. Ball, toe, ball, heel, both feet, ball, toe, ball, heel, both ways, one, Two, plie, ball, toe, ball, heel, zero, ball, toe, ball, heel, two, tendus, plie, to the back, ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, what's wrong? Ball, you're just giving me a reminder. Heel, two, it's fine, tendus, plie, thank you, Sophia. Ball, two, ball, heel. Ball, two, ball, heel, two, tendu, fondu, soutenu, detrene, tendu, first. Up to the front, we go ball, toe, ball, two heels, we're off count, ball, toe, ball, heel, two, tendus, plie, we're gonna Wait, 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 I'll take home. Ball, toe, ball, heel. Ball, toe, ball, heel. Two, tendus, plie, derriere. Ball, toe, ball, heel. Ball, toe, ball, heel. Two, tendus, plie, I'll take home. Ball. Toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel, two, tendu, fondu, soutenu, weight on both feet, detrene, turn, plie, out to the side, to first, arms to en bas, head on a diagonal, looking off to the side. Good. So a couple of things to note and remind you, last week we talked about arm positions in a second. So, this is not second. With your port de bras, and I am guilty as charged with this, you want to make sure that your arms aren't breaking your back line. So if I was standing against a wall, here, good example. You want to make sure that your arms don't ever come behind that bar, behind that wall, breaking your back. You want everything to be in front. Um, also on second, it's just like this, you're holding this big round ball. I always think of everything holding a ball. I'm on bottom holding a little ball. I mean, first I'm holding like a little kind of medium-sized physio ball, like my flu ball right there. In second, I am holding a ball that I probably couldn't hold by myself. I probably need multiple people. And um, my muscles, I'm thinking about my lats, my scapula, this triangular muscle back here that you need to move your shoulders, coming down and back, okay, which opens my pectorials and my sternum. I'm thinking about my biceps rolling down, okay, without sacrificing my shoulder alignment. And I'm thinking about my forearm twisting up. So everything's in a counter kind of twist, like this ringing of a, um, of a rag. Everything's twist, nice set in. And then I'm letting my hand just barely bend at the wrist. And I'm bringing my middle finger towards my thumb. And if I was in a dramatic ballet and I leaned to the side and I cried, the idea is that a tear would be able to roll all the way down and off of my index finger just seamlessly, without speeding up, without slowing down, it would just roll off and drip. Um, when you're in this position, 
So come into a nice arms to second and move from your rib cage around. Everything's kind of nice and set on top like an ornament, like a, like a lamp shade. With your abdomen and your pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor are the muscles, you're going to hear me say this a lot, that stop um, the flow of urine. Heard of Kegels? It's those. So you're going to engage those. You're also going to engage your buttocks and you're rotating your femurs, your thighs out. I'm constantly thinking about this spiral that's going out as it goes down in a corkscrew, bringing my buttocks together. You will get, all oh, this is squats. It's all squats, guys. It's great. Um, rotating out, pulling up with your pelvic floor. And if any of you have crocheted, this is the imagery I take. Someone's pulling the pelvic floor up. They're reaching through that, grabbing my belly button, pulling that up. So now it's holding both, taking it and hooking it onto an invisible hook hanging in the center of my rib cage. And all of this sits on top of that. So we're creating this corset. We're creating this like stand. And then our lampshade of a chest and our arms sit on top of that effortlessly, allowing our neck to be long. Someone's taking the back of our head, your occipital joint, where your skull connects to your spine. They're taking that like a bowling ball, taking two fingers, pulling it back on the back up diagonal until everything's in alignment. A lot of people tend to stand forward, so that imagery, pulling this back and up, everything engaging, rotating, turning out, sitting on top, allows you to be in alignment. You want to think about your back space as you do this. So many people think about what's happening in front of here. I want to think about what is happening in my back space. What's going on? When I'm plieing, am I like an elevator? When I'm combraying, what is my back doing? What is my spine doing? So start to try to have eyes on the back of your head, your neck, your rib cage, your shoulder blades, your hips, and think about what's going on behind you and developing that um, derriere eye. Cool. We just did both sides. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a quicker tongue um, we're gonna go quicker tongue we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to do four quick tondus, and we're going to do um, a fondue tondu. I think that's what it's called. So we're going to plie with our standing leg as we tondu out to come up. And then one, two, three, four, out, and up. One, two, three, four, out, and up. One, two, three, four, out, day turn in. Okay? Um, important thing to note as we're, anytime you're going to the side, if it is an even number, you don't switch starting. If it's an odd number, you switch to the back. Since we're doing five tondus total, we'll start by switching the foot. If we were just doing four, we would come front and then switch the foot to the back. Just fun little odd even tricks to remember. So again, that is one, two, three, four, plie, tondu, and back. One, two, three, four, fondue, tondu, and back. One, two, three, four, Fondue and back. One, two, three, four. Fondue, suiting you, day turn in. Um, this, it, it's combined. I'm not going out and then bending. I'm bending as I go out and lengthening as I come back up. It's one unit. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. So, from fifth. One, two, three, four. Fondue, back. One, two, three, four, fondue, derby, air. One, two, three, four, fondue, close. One, two, three, four, fondue, tondu, deshirne. One, two, three, four, fondue, close. One, two, three, four, fondue, close. There we go. One, two, three, four, fondue, close to the side. One, two, three, four, fondue, close face front. Good. Let's do that again and let's incorporate the arms. So, <laughs> incorporating the arms. Oh, why is this on shuffle? It should not be on shuffle. So, incorporating the arms. When we go devon to the front, we're going to have our um, side arm in fifth. Okay? And again, fifth, it's the same feeling, except you want to make sure that you can still kind of see your fingers if you looked up just a little bit. So your hands are not going to be completely over your head. See how this starts to break in the back? It's going to be just a little bit forward. When we come to the side, a la second, okay? And then for derriere, we're going to bring your arm down. We're going to extend into an arabesque. 
Okay, you want to make sure that the shoulder's not forward and the pommel. You want to make sure it's nice, even, and aligned. Try, we're trying to keep as much alignment within our body and our plumb line as possible right now. Eventually, we'll get to a point where you can extend or reach or twist and really show off your back. Right now, let's just focus on alignment. You can always have alignment and then alter it. Going from alteration back to alignment is a lot harder. Okay, this is really quick. It's very quick. And we turn around, it's very quick. Um, so I'll continue to call out the cues. If you need to take it a little slower, feel free. Um, main thing, make sure you don't disengage. This is not a dégagé. You want to make sure your toes always stay in connection with the ground, and then you come back, and you want to always come back to two feet. Okay? Always reset. This is your home base. Two feet. Two feet. Two feet is my home base. Not one foot. Two feet is my home base. Okay. And here we go. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tendu. And up. One, two, three, four. Out. Close. One, two, three, four. Extend. Close. One, two, three, four. Here, they turn it. One, two, three, four. Extend. Close. One, two, three, four. Extend. Close. One, two, three, four. Extend. Close. One, two, three, four. Extend. Two to your Close. Look up to the side. Good. Very good. We're going to do a couple releves and elevés just to get in our body. So, a releve is a plie up, an eleve is just straight up. So we're going to face the bar, the wall, whatever. You can have one hand on the side if you need to. Let me think real quick. We're going to go, we're going to go plie, horse arch, come up, horse arch, plie, down, eleve, 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 releve, releve. Okay? So we go plie, horse arch, wraps, horse arch, Plie, extend. Eleve, eleve, eleve. Plie, rise. Plie, rise. And we're going to do this also in seconds. We're going to go first, second. Um, we'll just do first, second, first, second. We're going to keep it simple today. So here we go. Find a nice first. Five. Six, seven, eight. We go plie. Force arch. Reach through those arches. Extend. Test your balance. Force arch. Plie. Extend. Elevate. Down. Elevate. Down. Elevate. Down. Releve. Releve. Plie. Extend. Second. Prepare. Here we go. And plie. Forced arch. Rise up. Test your balance. Oof. Forced arch. Heels down. Extends. Elevates. Here we go. Elevate. Down. Elevate. Down. Elevate. Down. Releve. Releve. Plie. Back to first. Tendu. Both sides. Here we go. Plie. Four starch. Feel that four starch. Rise up. Back in the same line. Test your balance. Turning out. Engaging the hips, the stomach. Letting the chest sit on top. Four starch. And down. Here. Elevate. Down. Elevate. Down. Elevate. Down. Relevate. And up. And up. Plie. Tendu. Both sides. Here we go. Do we have to start the song over? Yes. Hold that. So we're in second. Really think about that turnout. So plie. Force arch. Knees over toes. Turning out to rise. Test your balance. Don't forget your core. Force arch. Heels down. Extend. We're doing eleve. Eleve. And down. Straight knees. And down. Extend through those arches. And down. Releve. Plie. Rise. Lower, tendu, back to first. Go ahead and come to a parallel. Extend the foot back. Get into your calf. Push against the wall, the chair, the bar. 
extend, bring it in, bend, extend, other leg. Get into that calf. Extend, bring it in, bend, I think it's up to hit in the solace. Now the front of the arches, you're gonna take your foot, you're gonna point it, you're gonna cross in front, my shin is behind my um, heel, and it's pushing into the, the um, lateral side of my lower shin, my lower calf, the back side. The knee is kind of almost pushing into the calf, it doesn't quite get there. Pushing into that arch. Good, flex, rotate, other side. Point, cross, stretch that arch. Good, a nice little manual stretch, a little bit of a massage from the back of your calf, it's great. Good, now we're gonna do decades. So, decage, spinning into last week, decage means to disengage, okay? So we have a tendu, uh -huh. and we disengage. Except it's not just tendu pick up, that would be a PK. PK, it's a prick. Um, tendu, not tendu, decage, disengage. This pushing into the ground, I push, rotate, extend, and I'm moving, I'm sending energy through the ground just as I'm much sending it out, is so much that it causes my foot to disengage from the floor, okay? So we're gonna do degages. And let's see, is it a slow degage we have first? It is a slow degage, I love slow degages. Where are we on time? Okay, cool. I know, it's a very, very slow bar. Um, so I used to be in a grand jete by now, not grand jete, grand bombas. Okay, so we're gonna do degages, we're gonna go one, we're gonna go out and back. Out, hold, and back. One, two, three. Clee. Yeah, similar to our tondus. Remember when bum, 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 bum. It was two very slow, separated tondus, and then three quick tondus and a plie. Now we're doing degage. So we degage out and close. Out and in. In, in, in. Oh, wait. Out, out, out. Focus on accent. Out, close, plie to the side. Out, in. Out, in. Out, out. Plie, derriere, out and in, out and in, out, 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 plie, tip side, bum, 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 out, 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 plie, fondue on that, soutenu, dechene, other side. Arms gonna stay in second, la 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 la. Um, do, 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 do. A um, couple of things to note, again, your same amount of energy is going into the floor. Your standing leg is working just as hard as your working leg. If you start to work harder with your working leg than your standing leg, then you're going to sacrifice alignment, and you're going to look like this. And we're not doing Fosse right now, guys. Okay. So let's prepare for our degage. Oh, this is, the music is fast. We're taking it at halftime, okay? So think of the music going one and two and three and four. So you go one. Two, one, two, three. Second, 
day trinet, this arm's gonna help you. Your outside arm's gonna help you to day trinet. And then you just bring your outside arm up and you're already prepared for the other side. I'm gonna do this on a, doo -doo 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 -doo, on a diagonal, okay? So I'm gonna do it on the diagonal, do it on the diagonal so you have a better view. And then other thing, with these degagees, the quicker degagees are quicker. If you wanna make it quicker, don't go out as far. So we can afford to come almost to 45 for the slower ones, but the shorter ones, maybe you just barely disengage from the ground. If you wanna make a bot mom quicker, you can either get faster or don't go up as high. If the timing's what's important, don't go up as high. So extend, down, extend, down, disengage, disengage, disengage. Okay? So again, dig it, Jace. Love dig it, Jace. Love this song. Starting with your left hand on the bar, I'm gonna start with my right hand on the bar, I'm mirroring, doing opposite. Here we go. Out, close, out, close, in, 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 to the side. Out, close, out, close, out, 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 oh yes. Out, close, out, close, bump, bump, bump. Out, close, out, close, bump, bump. Here, turn around. Out, close, out, close, think of the end. Out, close, out, close, heel in, heel in, heel in, to the back. Out, close, out, close, in, in, in. Out, close, out, close, in, in, to the end. Legend. So those um, quicker jetés were a lot faster than I imagined from when I first made it. So as you're coming in, instead of thinking the accent out, because we're thinking out, we're late on the come in, actually think about that come in. Think about your inner thighs zipping together. Your heel connecting with the floor with the foot zipping together. In and up. Then you're on top of it for the alignment. Um, whenever you're doing um, quick footwork, it helps to really think about zipping your inner thighs. So go ahead and try that. Do a tendu. Uh, Degage to the back, come in. To the front, come in. To the side. Think about how am I zipping? So it's going down, zip, down, zip, out, zip, out, zip. Out, zip, out, zip. How am I zipping everything together? Okay, now we're gonna do round de jambes. I love round de jambes. Ooh, we only have 10 minutes left, oops. Um, so a round de jambe means round of the leg, okay? Um, you have, these are round de jambes on terre, a terre. A terre means on the floor. A terre, on the floor. Um, you might think when I come home from work, I throw my attire on the ground. Your clothes, you throw them on the ground. So a terre, attire, a terre, they don't mean the same thing. On the ground. On layer, which is L, apostrophe A-I-R, something like that, I think. I can't write French. Um, it is on layer, in the air. So a terre, on the ground, on layer, in the air. Okay? So we're going to do, uh, fun, it's going to be very simple. We're going to do two grand grand jambes. So we go grand grand jambes. Grand, on the jambe, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna do one grand de jambe on l'air, and heat um, on on l'air, lift up and close. Yes. So grand grand de jambe. When I'm starting to the front, I extend forward, plie, let my back come forward, head back come forward, and then I open to the back like a butterfly. Here. Open, always moving through first. Open, and then one, two, three, four, slow port port ball with my arm, and then one, a tear, open back, and close. To the back, we bring our arm back and over, making a long straight line, then to come up, back and over, to come up, we're going to reverse the port bra. Outside to inside, hmm. Hmm. on layer, here, lift up and close. Su su, 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 um, su, 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 and down. When you su su, you're coming up and bringing your feet together. You can su su front to back, back to front, or together. Um, right now, just think about front coming to the back. Okay. Again, bronze here, bronze here. One, two, three, four, small, a tear. 
on layer at the 45 here, lift up, close, other direction. Okay, let's do this quick. We don't have much left. So we're going to start in fifth, breathe pair, forward, open, it's dramatic, forward, leg you're in Downton Abbey, and one, two, three, four, lift, around, lift up, close, five, six, seven, eight, I'm all set. Reach to the front. Reach to the front. And one, two, three, four. Up. Second. Front. Lift up. Close. Two to new. De tourne. Three pair. And front. Open back. And front. Open back, be dramatic. One, two, three, four. Lift, side, to the back. Lift up and close. So, quick note on this, you want to make sure you're staying turned out as long as possible before you turn that hip under. Reach, front, reach, front. One, two. So here, it's under, and I'm trying to turn out as quickly as possible to the front, lift up, close, susu, detrene, arms on ball, look off to the side, that's always how you end, on ball, off to the side, unless you're like in an arabesque or something and you're doing choreography, at the bar, arms come on ball, look up to the side. Okay, so, let's see. We got through Ronde Jambes, I love Ronde Jambes, and we're going to do a little fondue developé. Do you want to do fondue? Shall we do fondue? Or shall we learn frappes? Now, we're going to do a fondue developé, and we're going to end with that. So, fondue means to melt, you know, everyone's had fondue. The melted chocolate, melted cheese fondue, yeah. Um, so essentially you're melting. So. We're gonna do, um, so we'll fondue coupe, come to passe, knee, foot on the outside of the knee, and extend lower close. Fondue, passe, extend lower close. Fondue, this is a coupe. Coupe means to cut. I'm pointing my foot and I'm right at the base of my calf. Coupe means to cut. Up to passe, extend to arabesque. Lower, close, fondue, um, fondue, um, retrograde. Passe is when you're passing through. Retrograde is at the knee. Out, lower, close. Out. We're actually going to go here. Out, lower, plie, soutenu, other side. So we have fondue, retrograde, out, lower, close. Fondue, retrograde, out. Lower, close. Fondue, retrograde, out, lower, close. Fondue, retrograde, out, lower, plie, turn around. Arm is going through full port de bras each time, arabesque port de bras for the back. Cool? Yeah. It's slow. You'll be able to follow along. I need a dachio. Prepare. Oh no, we gotta sit over. This is why accompanists are nice. And here we go. Plie. Up. Extend. Here. Together. Fondue. Retrograde. A la seconde. And down. Together. Fondue. Retrograde. Arabesque, down, together, fondue, retrograde, a la seconde, down, leg up, turn around, fondue, 
come up, extend, down, onto, up, extend, and down, onto, up, arabesque, and down, onto, retro, extend, down, other side, bring to the back, grab to the back, seven, so we go fondue, here, extend, lower, come in, fondue, they're very close, here, extend, fondue, here, extend, lower, fondue, here, extend, lower, here, out to the back, seven, But I'm making excuses because if you see me do this, and I told you to do this, because my muscle memory is getting the better of me, which is bad on my part. It is now the end of class. Let's do a little rev -rons. Um We got through most of the bar. We reviewed some of the foot positions. So we have parallel, first, second, third, open, fourth. We did close fourth and fifth, because we did um, first, second, close fourth, and fifth today. Um, third and open fourth, uh, open fourth is used more than third, um, but do keep those in the back of your head. Um, we also reviewed arms, we mainly did amba, first, second, and fifth. Um, arabesque is, it depends whether it's third, fourth, arabesque. Arabesque is usually a part of um, fourth. Um, we can review those again next week, and there's always lovely charts online. Um, we got through, we did plies, we did tendus, we did degages, we did releves and eleve, we did eleves and releves. We also did rond de jambes, round of the leg, really thinking about the extension of our kenosphere down at that circle. And then we also did an adagio. Adagio means slow, we did fondue, which is to melt. So these are just some of the different vocabularies that we went through today. Um, again, thank you all so, so much for coming. Um, this class was brought to you by Austin, whew, Austin Body Collective. There are too many acronyms in my brain. Austin Body Collective. Um, everything right now is by donation. So now we have this cool little screen so you can see where to donate here and where to get more info and connect with us on social media there. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. And, um, my name is Sarah Jack. I hope you find this helpful. If you want to go over all the basics, you can also, in our event page for our beginning ballet class, we have the videos posted there. So you can go through that, see all the different arm positions, at least in coordination with the feet. We still have yet to work on arabesque arm positions, but we'll do that when we start getting closer to grand um, bat ma at bar. Thank you so, so much. Drink some water, stretch out your bodies, Make sure to stretch out your legs after this. I know we didn't get to that, but it's very important. Um, lay on the ground, shake your arms and your feet above your head, get the lactic acid back um, through your heart, the blood processing, and cleaning everything out. Thanks, have a great day.